Hello and welcome back to my channel. Good Note 6 has just launched and I wanted to make a short video showing you the new features and how they work. If you're currently using Good Note 5 and you're wondering whether to upgrade, then hopefully this video will help you decide. If you're new to GoodNotes, this is a note-taking app on your iPad and you can import and annotate any PDF file and I have all of my digital planners and journals in here. The first thing is that we have a new interface and you now have the menu items on the left here and here you also have a slightly different interface. This feature lets you scribble out handwriting and I'm just going to demonstrate how this works. So let's say you write something and you want to erase it without having to switch to the eraser. You can just take the pen and scribble that out. And this just saves you from having to switch back and forth with the eraser tool. You can also come under the settings here. So just tap on the pen tool and come to pen gestures. Then you can actually disable this option here, erase shapes and highlighter. It means that when you scribble out the handwriting, it will not erase the highlighter. This next feature automatically corrects misspellings when you're handwriting. I'm going to write the word meeting, but deliberately misspell it. And this comes up in red underline telling you that this is a misspelling. So then you can tap on it and it will show you the suggested correct spellings and you can choose one and it will correct that in handwriting. can also help you to finish words. So here I'm going to deliberately not finish a word. And this word has come up in red underline. So when you tap it, you can see school is suggested there. So you can tap it and that will correct it in handwriting. You now have more customization options when it comes to folders. So if I tap on folder, now you have a selection of different colors and you can also tap on this icon bar and assign a different icon to that folder. You can also change the color and icon of an existing folder. Just tap on this drop down arrow and then assign it a new color and icon. When you want to lasso some objects, you don't have to switch to the lasso icon. So even when you're in the pen icon, you can just draw around the objects and then tap and hold on this line and that will turn it into a lasso. And then you can just move this around. You can draw a square as well and that will also work. And this even works with different shapes. And the object selectivity under the lasso still applies. So if you tap on the lasso and I'm going to turn off images, then back in the pen tool, if I draw around my object and long press, it's going to select everything but the images. Now you can create colored note templates directly inside GoodNotes. So tap on this new icon and tap on notebook and then tap on this color section and tap on customize template. And here you can tap on background color and choose a color. So you have three different palettes here and you can also use the eyedropper tool to select any color from the screen. You can also customize the cover. So tap in the color area once again and down here you can customize the template and choose any color from the palette. This feature converts handwriting into equation. And to do that, you can just lasso around everything, tap inside it, and then tap on this to see more of the options and then tap on convert and maths. This isn't actually text, so you can't edit it using the text tool. And if you tap onto the lasso tool, you can see that it's an entirely new type of object called equations. And at the moment, this only comes in black. There's an updated marketplace section and you can tap in the education tab to see some free interactive exam prep materials and you're able to study all of these directly inside of GoodNotes. The AI math assistants can help to spot errors in your equations. So here I'm just going to write something incorrect and the red underlining just flags the issue that the equation is wrong. This feature is supposed to help you with typed sentences when you're in the full page typing mode. So here I have a sentence and you can select everything and then tap on this star icon and you have some options to fix grammar and spelling, paraphrase, change tone, make longer or make shorter. I haven't quite got the feature to work for me yet, but the idea is that it will help you to refine your sentences. This next one is not really a new feature, but study sets is now more integrated within GoodNotes 6. You can create your own study sets and then you can type or handwrite your questions and answers here. And once you've made all your questions and answers, you can just tap on the study button and practice the study set. 
This next feature was in the GoodNotes advert, but I couldn't find it in the app, so I'm guessing it's coming soon. It seems to be some kind of AI chatbot assistant that can help to provide information when you ask it a question, and I'm interested in seeing how this develops. There's also more features that are on the way, including internal links between pages, password-protected notebooks, dotted lines, and a pencil tool. GoodNote 6 is free to try and then you can pay an annual subscription fee or a one-time payment. If you try out GoodNote 6, you do have the option of going back to GoodNote 5 so you won't lose your old purchase. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you think of the new GoodNote 6 features and whether you'll be upgrading from GoodNotes 5. I hope you found the video useful and don't forget to subscribe for more GoodNotes tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching!